Hey, so hello. Uh, we are doing our first week of grade nine science. So this is me trying to make sense of the electricity unit that we're in. So we're going to be doing electricity for the next four weeks, I guess. So this is us trying to understand how current works. So we did a little bit of static in class and then that's fine. So we're just going to go straight into into circuits. So I'm going to show you today's series and parallel circuits, right? We're going to do a little activity online. If you have access to computer, great. If you don't, that's fine. Um, this will all be on YouTube, so you just need a piece of paper and you could just watch this video. Or at some point, they'll tell you to stop the video and you could try it yourself, see if you can do all the answers on your own, and then you can continue to watch the rest. But if you only have access to YouTube, then fine. Just watch the whole thing and we'll work through it together. And there's a tiny worksheet at the end. I mean, I say worksheet, but Again, you could do all this just on a piece of paper. You don't need to print anything. Um, it's all fine. Okay, so let's take a look at series and parallel circuits. So as I said before, hopefully you have internet access. You could do this yourself. Uh, you can fill in the worksheet online if you have access to that. So um, this will be on Google Classroom. So there'll be a little worksheet. It's a little bit less writing if you have access to computer. If you don't, um, just use a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to be doing that today. I just have, well, marker. But um, yeah, I'm going to do all of it just on a piece of paper. So if that's all you have, that's fine. Okay. So we're going to look at circuit diagrams, right? We're going to look at series circuits. We're going to look at parallel circuits. And then we're going to see how to find current and voltage in a circuit. Okay. So uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put this on the screen at the same time as we're, we're building the circuits, but this is just to let you know when we're drawing circuits, it's really tedious if you're going to draw the battery and you're going to draw the like light bulb and you're going to draw all those things. So instead we use symbols, which just a way to be lazy, make it easier. So um, you'll see me draw it on the paper later, but we're going to make all the circuits um, with these symbols and we're not going to bother trying to like draw a light bulb. We're not going to do that, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to put this on the screen later just so you can always have access to it. But um, this is what we're going to use to draw our circuits. So we're looking at two main types. The first is series circuits. Um, you can ask your parents about these if they ever had to untangle Christmas lights back in the day. Um, the way they used to wire the Christmas lights was all in one big loop, okay? So you can wire something. You can have a battery connected to a light bulb connected to a switch and back to the battery. Um, this is a basic setup of any flashlight. Okay, it's just a battery, a switch, and a light bulb. Um, or you could have another series circuit with two bulbs. So again, you have your battery connected to here with wires. You have a light bulb, a light bulb, a switch goes back to the battery. And then you can have a series circuit with even more light bulbs. So again, you can see that the thing that makes these series is, we call it series because they're all in series, like there's one path only. Okay, so there's just one path here, one path here, one path here. So series circuit. Uh, then we're gonna look at comparing it to parallel. So parallel is a little different. Uh, parallel has a few paths. So this one you can see the, the first one is the same. If you'd only have one light bulb, it has to be in series. There's only one device, okay? But if you're gonna have more light bulbs, so you can see here it says two light bulbs. So one of the bulbs is in this first path, and then the next light bulb is in a second path. Okay, if you connect three light bulbs, we are see one path here, second path, third path. And again, this will make a little more sense once we start doing the activity online. Okay, so that's the third thing we're going to look at. And then the fourth is we're going to measure voltage. So look at how to do that. So we're going to be using this device to look at the voltage of what's the voltage coming out of the battery, what's the voltage of the light bulb. Um, we'll take a look at all of those things using this device. And so we're going to use a voltmeter to do that. Voltage is very straightforward. The unit for voltage is voltage. I know it sounds, I don't know why. It's just Voltage, voltage, it's all V, it's super easy to remember because um, you measure it with a voltmeter, the symbol is V, the unit is voltage, easy. Current is a little different. Um, we're just going to be measuring a bunch of stuff today. We'll get more into next week about exactly what these different numbers mean and, and what is current and all those things. But I think today let's just kind of explore, check out something new, um, something to do online, and then next week we'll talk more about 
what are each of these individual things, okay? So current is kind of like the flow of electrons, so you can measure it with in amps, so you may have heard of amps before. Um, you use an ammeter, okay? And the symbol, this messes students up a lot, the symbol is I. I like to think that because it's the flow going through a wire, the symbol kind of looks like a wire, so um, you just use the symbol I to talk about current. So if you're looking at the worksheet online and you're like, what's this I thing? Uh, we're gonna take a look at that now. Okay, so you're going to want to go to Google and you're going to want to type in Fed Circuit Lab. Okay, and it should be this top one here. So we'll take a look. Um, this is not quite. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. There's like two slightly different versions. It's fine. We'll make it work. So. Um, what you're going to need to do is build your first circuit. So we're going to make a circuit with a battery. Um, you can adjust the volts, but just keep it the same. We're going to add a bunch of wires. So I'm going to make a simple circuit. So I'm just going to add a bunch of wires, wire, wire, wire. We're going to add a light bulb. Okay. Uh, we're going to add a wire. You don't need this many wires. <sighs> I just like it to look like a box. <laughs> it's much easier to understand what's going on. So there is your circuit. So this one works all the time because notice there's no switch. If you really, really wanted to add one, um, you could add a switch here. You can really add it anywhere. It's fine. And then you can connect it up. And so this can turn it on. So if the switch is closed, the loop is complete. So it will be on. If the switch is open, then it will be off. Okay, so you can see that the switch is on, and so this is our circuit. So now what we have to do is we have to go to our worksheet, and we're going to start collecting some data. So this is a series. Okay, and for a series circuit, um, we're going to draw it out. So we have a battery. We have a light bulb, we have a switch, and it goes back to the battery. Okay. Oh, sorry, my light bulb needs a little circle around it. Okay. Uh, we don't have to be great artists, but this gives you the general sense of what we're making. We have our battery, light bulb, switch. Okay, everything is there. So we need to take some measurements, so we're going to get out these devices here. We have a voltmeter and we have an ammeter. Okay, so we want to know we have one light bulb here. Okay, so we're going to measure the voltage of this light bulb. Okay, so if we connect the voltmeter to the light bulb, we connect one of these prongs to each side. Okay, and we start to get a measure that says 9 volts. So we say that the voltage for light bulb number one is 9. Okay, it's volts. Okay, then we have to check the current. So the way you check the current, it's a little annoying, but you click here, you disconnect it because you need to make some space. Okay, so you're gonna put this in here. Okay, so make sure it actually connects, uh, but you can see that the current's going through here. Yes, I know it's decimals, just be okay with it for now. So the current is 0 0.9 amps. So we're gonna say that the current going through light bulb one is zero decimal nine zero amps. Okay. So that's the information that we have so far. Okay. So you'll also see if you have the worksheet with you that uh, this is just the voltage for light bulb one and the current for light bulb one, but there's something called VT which is like the total voltage, so that's kind of about the battery. Um, so the battery, we know, we've looked at it before, we saw that it was 9 volts, but let's use this measurement again. We can use the voltmeter, we can check the battery, we can see that it's 9 volts. 
We can also check the current coming out of the battery. Oh good, it lets us take more. Okay, this is great. So we want to know the current coming out of the battery as well. So we can disconnect it, make a little bit of space, and we can put this in here. And now we can see the current um, going through the battery is also 0 0.9. So everything, nothing too exciting for this first one. Um, we've realized that if there's only one device, Sorry, just writing down. If there's only one device, then everything is going to be the same in series. Okay? Now we're going to build our next circuit. Okay, we are back. Um, had a little technical thing, so I hope everything is recording now. So on this paper, we uh, finished circuit one. We're going to build circuit with two light bulbs now. So we go into here. We need to make some room. So we're going to delete this piece. We are going to add a second light bulb. So we want to make a series circuit again, but this time we want two light bulbs. Okay, so again, you can notice the difference. So if we take a look at the data we're collecting this time, we're looking at the voltage. So the total for everything, we want to know the voltage of light bulb one and the voltage of light bulb two. Okay, so we're writing down all this data as we collect it. So we can look at the voltage coming out of the battery. So notice I didn't change the battery, right? The battery was the same that it's always been. So if I connect this here, I still see that it's nine volts. So, okay, great. This is still nine volts. Then I wanna see, well, what's with the light bulbs? They don't look as bright as before. So you wanna connect this to here and you're gonna take a look at light bulb. Let's call this light bulb one, light bulb two, it's fine. Okay, so light bulb one is 4.5. Light bulb two is, oh, we should check, right? Um, <laughs> don't wanna spoil the surprise, okay? So again, connect it to both sides. Ooh, this is interesting. So if you get something that says negative, that just means that you connected it kind of like in reverse. So you need to connect it this way and you connected it this way. So you just swap these, okay, swap, swap. Great, 4.5, so as we would expect, right? So 4.5, okay? So you might be starting to see some kind of pattern, okay? And then we need to check the current of everything. So we're gonna check the current coming out of the battery. We're gonna check the current coming out of the first light bulb. I think luckily we already have both of those there. So we have both of that data. And then we're gonna collect data for the other light bulb. We're gonna check the current of that. So. We're gonna write down current coming out of the battery is 0 0.45 amps. Then we're gonna check the current coming out of light bulb one, I guess. So we can see again, it is 0 0.45 amps. And then make your guesses, what do you think the current out of light bulb three is going to be? Sorry, light bulb two. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect this here. Um, everything is zero for a little bit because electricity can't travel if there's no wire. And we're gonna throw this in here. So here I am throwing it in. I know it looks a little bit wonky. Okay, but it works. And you notice the current is 0 0.45 everywhere. Okay, so we have discovered something kind of interesting, which is that the current, whatever it is, if it's a series circuit, it's going to be the same, okay? And then think about what you've discovered for um, the voltage in series, okay? So we see here that the total voltage is nine, voltage here is 4.5, 4.5, those add up to nine, okay? So I want you to try the worksheet, um, see what will happen if you add three light bulbs, okay? And I'm just gonna very quickly try to show you how to build a parallel circuit next. Okay, so just hold on. Hey, beautiful. Okay, so everything's connected, which is good. So we are gonna need our voltmeter again. We're going to need our ammeter again. So we have both of those things. And uh, we're gonna collect some data for our parallel circuit. So let's draw it out and let's get our data for parallel uh, two light bulbs.